Hey, we're out here in Palos, right? Yes. Palos Park. Palos Park with the Burbo family. They've been dreaming of this pond for over a year. It feels like a year ago, right? Oh, it is at least. It is it's about yes. like, yes. almost to the date, I yeah. think, right? I know. And like always, we get out here and I completely flip the design. We were originally thinking waterfall <laughs> over there, skimmer box over here. I started looking at it and I think, well, you guys even said when I first looked at it, I wanted to put the waterfall over here. Right. And then we changed and we went over oh, there. Over there. Now we're back to the original design. Yeah. You can tell they're excited about this for one reason. Not just the smile on their face. <laughs> Look at all the plants they've got. <laughs> I said, if you guys have a couple plants here, we have no problem putting them in the ground for you. Yeah. But we're about ready to break ground. We've got the guys from Wisconsin here. We've got a guy from California here. Yay. People from all over the world are coming uh -huh. to build the Bravo family an awesome pond. Yeah. So we have roughly an 11 by 16 foot pond with a 12 foot deep stream. First thing we're going to do, move all your plants. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Move all your plants, bring in the sod cutter, strip off all of this grass. We'll decide what we're going to do with that in a second. <laughs> and then we're going to start digging. Yay. Are you guys and more excited? Now yes. or a year ago? Now! <laughs> awesome. Here we go. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. What is up everybody, it is Jack with Team Aquascape. We are out here in Palos, Illinois, and we have Brian, JD, myself from Team Aquascape, and then it's Monday, so that means a new week of CACs. We have Brian Law from Aquatopia, we have the Ford, the exterior guys, and then Moose is out here delivering our stone, as you guys can hear in the background. We're gonna be building an 11 by 16 pond. We're gonna be out here probably for a couple days, two to three days, hopefully, and this thing is just gonna look awesome. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's gonna be an all granite pond with a 12 foot deep stream, a 6,000 biofalls, a bluestone patio, and some cool steppers that we're gonna be adding. So let's get going. So step one on removing all the grass. We kept this part because we're gonna come with the excavator and we're gonna tear all this apart and throw that in our berm. So we are not worried about any of this. Jack's out here having a good time. It's a great day. It's gonna be an awesome week. We have, it's gonna be in the 60s all week long. So that's when we usually do our best work. The weather is great. So we're having an awesome time out here. We're cranking away and we're gonna start digging. We're gonna bring the excavator in here and we're gonna start digging away. We are uh, underway of digging the pond out. So it's a little bit bigger than 11 by 16. The bulk of the pond is an 11 by 16 with a little bit bigger or a little bit longer of a stream. So we call this like our deep stream. So it's only a foot deep, super slow meandering. There might be a little bit of areas where it's gonna be fast moving, but originally our plan was to put our biofalls right on this side and our skimmer over here. But as always, it's always changing like Brian said in the video. So we flip flopped it. We threw the 6,000 biofalls sent back where Jack's had over there and that's because elevations didn't line up where we wanted it to be. So this pile falls is facing towards these <laughs> awesome windows that they have sitting back behind me that I will show you guys in a little bit. And then our skimmer is gonna sit all the way over in this area here. And the reason why we threw the skimmer on this side over here and not in this corner is because in the future, gonna be adding on to this stream. So they, they wanna really put a, a set of assault columns sitting up over in that corner, kinda doing a slow meandering stream coming into another deep stream. So they really like the stream effect. That's why this pond's a little bit longer than wide. So that is gonna look awesome. Awesome. And the reason why we threw the skimmer on this side of the pond, we wanted to take advantage of the elevations. And if we were to throw the skimmer where the biofalls is at, or in that area, I should say, we would have to berm up a boatload of dirt all on this side just to get us to our proper height. Cause that's elevation behind me is a good six to eight inches higher than this corner over here. We obviously bermed all this up for water purposes. So then that way, when we do put our liner in here, that our edges aren't low and we could feather out all this dirt and make our uh, planning bed. That's why we cut all the way back 
to that grass line over there and that's because we'll feather all this dirt out that way it'll give us our proper height and elevation over on this side in this corner so that is a little bit of why we did what we did and these are the gorgeous windows and doors that they have on this back side of this house so they obviously love this entire area they got their furniture out here their little table they have awesome customers as soon as we got here they were giving us water coffee you name it they had it and then they also have a hot tub that they always sit in so we wanted to make sure that those views are being taken advantage of which they are where we put that 6,000 bio falls so we're gonna try to finish excavating out this pond break for launch and then get our fabric and liner in and then we will start rocking and rolling been a little bit of an update fabric liner is in as you guys saw on the time lapse we got some of the rock rocked in we got this bottom section all rocked in we got our skimmer in we got our seam in we got a lot done ever since lunchtime the one tricky part as we always say is that from the bottom of that wall down there all the way up there is approximately two feet and the problem with that is it's with granite it's super hard to stack going vertical quick and so we have to pull out we have to see how far these rocks are pulled out away from that wall and we're back filling with gravel the unfortunate part is that we're burning through gravel like crazy so we're gonna have to come in here we're gonna bring some more sacks of gravel out tomorrow and then we are gonna finish this thing hopefully tomorrow we're gonna have a lot more people out here so it sounds like hansen will be with us so that'll be nice I haven't worked with him in a little while so it'll be nice to catch up with him see how he's doing in life hopefully all is well over there hansen but yeah we're gonna be rocking and rolling sounds like we're gonna be adding an urn over in that peninsula over there so i'm really excited about how this pond's turned out this thing's super cool it's a little bit bigger than 11 by 16 the pond wise it is but with the deep stream and everything like that it's gonna look terrific i cannot wait until tomorrow and all the progress we can make so just want to give you guys a little end of the day progress video and hopefully we will see you guys tomorrow Well, there's been a little bit of a progress update. We're cruising right along. We have a big majority of this pond rocked in. Look who's here. Yeah, that guy. Talking about you, Steve. Yeah, uh-huh. Look look who decided to show up and help us. Is this your first Please. video of the day? Well, why are you reintroducing I, him after? Because I, I didn't introduce him earlier. What was your first video of the day? Just uh, explaining. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Jack, again. Yeah, like, just me. Look what I've done. Like, oh, like, like, welcome to the Jack uh, yeah. show. I've welcome picked out this rock and this rock and, Aren't you I, know. Is it, yeah. Isn't this Jack so yeah. awesome? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go. show him how you pat yourself on the back. Yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, that a boy. Do the other that a too. boy, yeah. Hey, give yourself a hug. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm okay. Give yourself a hug. That's, that's yeah. later on in the video. Hug yourself. <laughs> All right, so what do we have going on, Brian? Oh, you care? Yeah, <laughs> I do care. You want me to take it and you explain it? No, you hey, can. Hey, look, at, look no. at what Jack's done. <laughs> <laughs> so we talked a little earlier about the customer adding an urn and so many times we'll take an urn and break it up into different pieces because then we can get multiple features out of one. So we've got the stack slater and this is the large stack slate urn over here. That's all set, leveled off. If you look inside, come look inside. Okay. You can see I filled it up with a bunch of rock. That keeps this thing nice and solid so it's not going to move around all over the place. We still have to obviously bring our plumbing in through here but we'll get to that later. So then I took the bottom side of this and Chris actually had the great idea of 
of saying, why don't we take this piece and instead of digging that thing down or even shaving part of this off because it was gonna be way too tall, try to get a spillway that comes out of here and maybe another one that comes over into here. But right now what I'm looking at is how am I gonna do that? So kind of dry set this. This is two to three inches below water level right in here. So my plan is to get a little spillway that drops this way and then I want another one that drops almost like back like this, maybe right in through here that drops this way. And if I get lucky and the rock works with me, let this drop into a little pool back in here and then do something with some boulders out in here and let it drop again coming this way. That'll take a miracle. I don't know, we're gonna give it a shot and I'm in the business of building miracles. So we'll, we'll see.